uh, about to get started here with a team match. Uh, I think we're just waiting for one person to log on. Okay. Perul is Perul Jane 6. Okay. So let's do that. Invitations have been issued. Trying to get the sizing right here. BBO, uh, BBO made some changes recently. Should be a little bit better. Hi, Raman James. Good morning. Should be an exciting day today. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's get on some music for starters. Um, and I'm just going to tell them what we play, our methods. Good morning, chat. Alright, so East is opening a diamond. I'm going to overcall uh, two clubs here. It's a little crazy, but I want to enter the auction. I do have uh, 14 points. Hello everyone and welcome to the stream. We have uh, Jeopardy James here, left hand opponent, and Aaron Jones on our right, and we're playing with Linda, so I'm going to pass here. This is an exciting way to start, to start the game. Thank you for the follow, Gizme1905. Um, they're in three spades here, so I'm going to just encourage.
Um, I'm going to tell her to play a heart. Okay, that's fine. Declare took the tap. I don't mind tapping Declare down in this hand because I think maybe he has five spades and four hearts probably and three diamonds. So I don't mind taking a forcing defense here. So diamond played to the ace. Um, I'm going to give the jack. Ace and a diamond. Okay, just go low. All right, looks like Declare had six spades. So they may have missed a game here. I just win and um, play a club. And there's nothing to do here. I think they're just Colts. Six spades, three diamonds, one club. I guess maybe they might have a hard loser. Yeah, okay, I'm making. So, he may have been able to make one more trick, maybe. If he pitched off one heart in the diamond and then eliminated the diamonds and then played a heart to the eight, I think there was an elimination available. But he was just in three, so he didn't really care. So the barometer is off in this game. Um... So we're not going to know exactly what our what our uh, what our opponents did, what our part what our teammates did. Um, maybe I could have turned it on, um, but I had at least one request to keep it off, so um, I'm going to keep the barometer off for this game. Maybe in the future I'll have it on, but for this particular game, I'm going to keep it off. So my partner is considering coming in here, so two hearts is hearts and a minor. We play multi-landy, so I have a very big hand for one of the minors, so I'm expecting spades, so I'm going to bid... Um, Ask minor shows value. I, I can bid three clubs here to ask for the minor and uh, not really show a good hand. So this is showing values when I bid two no drum. Is her minor really clubs? Could they possibly be, be having a misunderstanding about what two spades is? So we play um, an, an, an advanced system here. Um, I'm gonna bid I'm gonna bid four clubs because I'm interested in only the minor. I don't want to play in the major. I need to know what her minor is. 
So in general, we play a system, I can put it in the chat, um, that, um, let's, let's hope she has clubs. I mean, all right, she has clubs. So we're in a nice spot here. I wonder the seven of spades. I'm wondering, they play upside down. So I'm wondering if he has ace king. Strong no trump. Mildly concerned about a spade coming through. Ace of spades, spade, and a spade. Um, so maybe he has six diamonds. And a doubleton spade. If he goes spade, 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 I, I would strongly consider to rough with the king. Um, but now that it's taking so long to play, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. The seven of spades is a bit confusing why he played such a high spade. So I'm guessing maybe ace king. Okay. Um, I can just go king of hearts and pitch the spade. And now, um, I'll just play a diamond now. Um, I'm gonna pitch, win. Um, maybe go king of clubs now. And then just claim, I have the rest. I'm gonna open a strong no trump. There's nothing they could do to beat that contract. So I'm really excited to have uh, Sheila Gabay's first team game online. She's normally uh, not not playing online, but she finally caved in to play online. And she's playing with Lou Gammerman at the other table on a team with uh, James Holtower and Aaron Jones. And I'm playing with Linda Robinson, our, and our teammates are Jim Rasmussen and Perul Jane. Two hearts is a transfer. Um, looks like a pretty cozy contract. Um, I could go diamond, diamond, diamond here and pitch a heart. The six of diamonds, I mean, probably third best from four. I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, there's no immediate danger for the hearts unless the hearts are breaking. Maybe it's just best for me to, um, maybe I'll just make a tricky play and go low. And, uh, win the king. I'm just gonna, like, try to hide cards from them. So I'll win. I guess I have to play a diamond now. And now a spade.
ace and queen left here. So actually, from a technical standpoint, um, playing low on the first diamond was better um, because he had led from jack third. So when the diamond went around to my to my high card, I actually now had four diamond tricks because the diamonds were 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 killed. I wasn't really worried about blocking the diamonds because I do have the ace and the king of clubs as entries. Three spades. So, we have at least a game here, if not more. Um, if my partner has a club control, we have a slam, but I don't have a way to ask for a club control. Hmm. Seven spades, three hearts, one diamond. I could just blast six spades. Good morning, Rusty. How are you? Um... I'm gonna bid poor man's blackwood here, which is four clubs. Um, it's 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 preempt. It, it's like preempt key card. Um, so I'm asking my partner what it, like their key cards. Thank you. So the sponsors here are zero one one two two. So maybe she'll have two key cards. Maybe I'll, I'm just cold for a grand slam. You don't know. Maybe she has the ace of clubs and the king of spades. So responses are four diamonds is zero, four hearts is one without, and four spades is one with. So um, I expect seven spade tricks, three hard tricks, and a diamond. And I don't know about the club. Cheese and crack is ready when the party of five. Well, welcome. I'm going to bid uh, six spades. I don't know about the club control. I consider six no. Uh, thank you so much for the raid, cheese and crackers. So it looks like we're in good shape here. She can pitch off the club on uh, on the ace king of hearts. Welcome to the stream. Uh, possibly make seven, but we're definitely in the right spot. We do have uh, Jeopardy James here, which is really exciting. Um, having an opportunity to play against him. Yes, sir. Tell your friends. So it looks like Linda's taking a safety play in the diamond suit, which I really like because the seven pops. So if it's queen, jack, nine, fourth over here, that's going to be good. Now I think we go ace of hearts, king of hearts, or maybe we go spade, spade, ace of hearts, king of hearts, pitch a club. Okay, the ten of spades fell, so that makes life a lot easier. So I think now we go ace of hearts, king of hearts, pitch the club, spade, 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 and then run the ten of diamonds. It means he's like, it means that in fact he does have skills and not zero skills. It means he has a lot of skills. I'll be with you. 
A oh, hard pitch is a little mysterious. Does he have like um? Does he have actually like a six card heart suit? And he's pitching from a six bagger. Like why would he pitch a heart? I think he has six hearts, and he's trying to bait her into set up the hearts. That's my guess. I, I'm, I'm guessing that East has a six card heart suit. You have to play the nine of spades now. There's another trump outstanding. There you go. Now pitch another club. And I think we go, we can go a 10 of diamonds here is probably best. Um, but heart, heart, she's going to do. This works as well. The hearts are going to go 6 1. Um, so king of hearts, he's going to pit. Oh no, he followed. Wow, that's a bit mysterious. Okay, so now that went 5 1 the other way. But that's okay. We go queen of hearts, rough of heart, and then 10 of diamonds. And east has the diamond. East has the queen jack 9. X of diamonds. That's a problem. Is that his lowest diamond is not the seven because the seven appeared to trick one. So she can go queen of hearts, pitch a diamond, rough a heart, ten of diamonds, and he's and we're gonna have to take a diamond trick that way. So she's gonna make this play. Linda Linda is gonna definitely make this play. Okay, he has between twenty four hundred and twenty five hundred BBO master points. We have to rough a round card to our hand and lead the Ten of Diamonds. Very important. That's the only way that this contract can be made. East for sure has Queen Jack Nine Fourth of Diamonds. For sure. So, rough it. And now the Ten of Diamonds. Eight of Diamonds will be fine too. And just let it go. But she should have really led the Ten. Because because now if it's stiff nine, she's gonna go down that way. But she should really play. She should really play. She, oh my god, it was stiff nine. But she should have run the ten of diamonds. Oh my god, the ten of diamonds was a hundred percent. Now she had to guess whether the guy had queen jack nine fourth. But she's gonna make it this way anyway. She should have definitely run the Ten of Diamonds. That was, the Ten of Diamonds was like a hundred in the end, and it actually would have gotten her an over trick. Because she knows the Jack is over here, and the Seven already appeared. I would give her a well done fee, but I really think she should have played the Ten of Diamonds, so it would be a little bit disingenuous, to tell you the truth. Um, and I have very high expectations. Thank you for the follow, no Lex Pete. All right, let me see if I can get this a little bit better. I'm gonna open this hand of club. Um, it doesn't come without a price though, because now, yeah, let me try to make this a little bit better, sorry. I'll try to expand the results. It's gonna hurt the hand a little bit. Maybe I make myself smaller. But then the chat, I don't want to lose the chat. So. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, rebid a no trump here. I'm tempted to pass. Um, a diamond because I only have an 11 count, but um, Yeah, I'm gonna hide my majors um, Wow, she's really weak. I should have passed Okay. 
So I'm not going to do too great in this contract, but I'm going to start off by playing small in case, uh, okay, the eight, yeah. So it was conceivable I should have played the nine, but what am I going to do? I think the eight was percentage. I guess I'll just play a spade to the queen. I mean, I don't really have a lot of great plays here. Let's see, okay, six. Right. All right, so I'll win this. And um, I can take a spade finesse. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. We'll try it. Alright, it worked. Let's try the king of spades. So we have some tricks. I'll pitch a diamond. And now I'm going to exit a heart. And give him what's his. And force him to lead something to me. Right, so now I'm going to pitch a club here. Maybe he should have won the heart and cleared the heart so that I didn't have this hard exit because now he's it's a difficult position for him. He has to break a minor, has to figure out what minor is better to break. I'm not upset with how this has gone. I had 11 and dummy had five and I might even take six tricks. That's not bad. Certainly could be a lot worse, vulnerable and one no Trump. Okay, Ace of Diamonds. Don't think I have any more tricks here. Unless somehow, did he get M played with a No, he didn't have a diamond left. Okay. Down one. Down one is good bridge. I'm going to open two diamonds um, and just say uh, weak, natural. Thank you for the follow, Zarukan. My partner is in the think tank. 
Tuno Trump asking, so um, three diamonds would be a minimum. We play three clubs as artificial, medium, or max. And then if I had a four card major, I would be the opposite major in the three level. So two diamonds, two no. If I had four hearts, I would bid three spades. And if I had four spades, I would bid three hearts. Um, okay, I pass. Well, on a spade lead, uh, three no would not fetch because they they can kill my entry and my hand is blocked. Well, welcome to the stream. Tell your friends. Um, I'm going to treat this as a balanced, uh, I'm going to treat this as a balanced 20 count. Um, and we, Linda and I invert the two no opening and the two club followed by two no rebid. So I'm going to I'm going to open two clubs and rebid two no to show 20 to 21 balance. I mean, I wasn't I, I could open one heart with this hand, but then I don't have a great rebid. Um, I like the inversion of the 2-0 no for a couple reasons, but first of all, I get to find out whether we're in a game force right now because we played two diamonds as game forcing. Second of all, sometimes if she has a hyper weak hand, we can exit in two of a major. I'm going to bid three hearts here, um, which is... So we play like a modified stamen. Um, so three clubs is sort of a half puppet stamen, she's asking me. Uh, I, I I felt the hand was too strong to open one heart and rebid two now. I, I, I they have 19 extremely prime high cards, so I, I thought that would be un, an underbid Cletus Burgers. So I have um, one or two spade losers and potentially a couple of two club losers probably. Um, the idea will be to um, lead clubs and take finesses in clubs. So I'm going to play small here. I'm going to play the king. 
I'm gonna play the Queen of Hearts. Harry to Dater. Thank you for the follow. Queen of Hearts, always pretend to be taking finesses, always make illusions. Um I'm gonna play the um Six of Hearts to the ten. So now notice I have two Dami entries if I need them. I can get to the Jack of Hearts and I get to the Four of Hearts. So now I'm going to go Ten of Clubs to the Ten, Eight, King, and hopefully Ace. So now Jones thinks probably his partner has the Queen of Hearts. He's creating that illusion, the King of Hearts. Might as well create illusions, throw the defenders off when you can. I mean, Zero Skills knows that I have the King of Hearts, but um, our Duran might not know. So the idea will be, um, if the Ace of Spades is with West, um, I'm going to hope that that they can't get a spade through and that the clubs go 3-3 three, three, or the seven of clubs falls. So the ace of spades is in the pocket I always make now. And if the ace of spades is offside, I'll sometimes make it if he cashes the ace of spades or if the queen of clubs is with lefty and I can utilize the fourth club to pitch off a spade from the dummy. So yeah, Jay Stokes, um, more about the 2-0 no rebus. So, so now when Marder beats two diamond sets of force, okay, now I'm just I'm just making, I'm just going to lose one club and one spade at this point. Because I have the nine and the eight of clubs. So the other thing we do is like now if we go two clubs, two diamonds, game forcing, two no. Now when partner makes a transfer with like three diamonds, um, we can immediately show whether we have a fit by bidding three hearts, which shows a fit, or three no, which denies a fit. Since we're in a game force, we don't have to worry about going past three hearts. So that allows us to qubit and look for a slam more easily. So there's a couple of small things that we get for, for a gain by making this inversion. Invite them into the auction here with two diamonds. Colin Schloss, thank you for the follow. Yeah, we, I mean, it depends on the part. Wow, look at this, a club void. That's insane. Um, yeah, we, I like, there's the three club, three hard inversion. Okay, another spade, so that probably wasn't best. Um, 
Yeah, there are there are inversions there. Um, Gwen VBO. Um, maybe you send me an email and I'll give you. Uh, she pitched it to club, which is a little mysterious. On on the queen is. Oh, maybe she's gonna play the other spade and pitch the other club to guard against the club row. I'm not sure. Uh, Gwen Gwen BBO, maybe send me an email and I can send you those. That's a little bit involved, so I don't want to go through all of those in my stream right now. It's an interesting idea to pitch the clubs. I would have pitched the hearts. All right, well, she's making now. I mean, she's only she can lose two hard tricks, but that's it. He's out of trumps, but you may play another just for good measure. He roughed something. Oh, cool. Thank you, Nikki. I'm, I'm glad you liked that video. Um, yeah. Um, uh, Sib triple threat. Hey, Adam, love your stream. Hope you can more OCBL and alt content or co commentate on ViewGraph. Yes, I'm really working on that um, triple threat. Um, it's not easy because we have to work through like some of these like legal issues to have everything, but I am working on getting OCBL content and I hope to be able to stream the finals. All right. So now she's just making, she's just making 10 tricks. So I hope to be able to stream the finals and I hope to get some, uh, cool comp co commentators on here. Um, you know, would, would be great to get some nice people on here. CYB triple threat. Who do you think is the best player in the world and why is it Zach Rosak? Well, I mean, that's kind of like a leading question. And um, yeah. Um, wow. Who is the best player in the world? Um, I don't think it's Zach Rosak. But maybe one day he will be when he learns to not bid like a freaking jerk. Um but um, who is the best player in the world? Well, I mean, it's really hard to measure because how do you determine who the best player is? It's bridge is a partnership game, right? Bridge is about having the best partnerships, not about having the best, um, not about having the, um, not about having the best player. I mean. I love the partnership that we have on our team now, the national team of Dennis Bildy and Augusta Madala. I mean, I will take that partnership over many, many other partnerships in the world. I mean, maybe Mechstroth and Rodwell, Helga Mohelnis. I mean, these are this is the type of class that they're on. Um, Hampson Greco. Um, recently, it seems to be Finn Kolesnik. Um, I'm gonna bid three diamonds here, just nothing crazy. I'm just gonna set diamonds and tell partner, I, I mean, we're in a game for us and see what she wants to do. Recently, it seems to be Fink Lesnick. Fink Lesnick is a very good player and um, not quite the best in the world, but maybe on the path. He's a really, really talented player and uh, and may actually get Finn on the stream very soon, sooner than you might think. Four clubs, oh my goodness. That's a cubit in support of diamonds. Wow. I have four key cards in the Queen of Trumps, and my partner is cubiting in support of diamonds. I'm I'm afraid to bid I'm afraid to bid four hearts because I don't I mean it should be Blackwood, but I'm afraid to do it. 
Um, I'm just going to make a practical six diamond bid. I mean, over four clubs. I'm, I'm going to at least six diamonds, if not more. But maybe I should be looking for a grand. I should Maybe I'm cold for a grand. I don't know what's happening. If she's got 18, I might be cold for a grand. Yeah, we play kickback. So I could bid four hearts here. It should really be Blackwood, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, yeah. I mean, the four club was was a nice bid. I mean, that was really a nice bid. So, um... So basically, I can pitch off two spades on the king queen of hearts and simply rough a club to the dummy. Um, so I think I'm cold. All right, so I have to worry about maybe an over rough. I can also establish the heart by length. I think I maybe just, um, I think I win this, I can pitch two, I think I win this, unblock the heart and duck a club, or I go ace in a club. I can also go ace in a club. Can duck a club spade. If I duck a club trump. Um, duck a club. Duck a club wins it, spade I win it. Ace of clubs, trump to my hand, rough a club. Try the king queen of hearts. I think I just go duck a club. If he plays a trump, I can win it. Unblock the ace of clubs, come to the ace of spades, rough a club. So I win this. And now I think I go Club to the ace. Diamond to the ace. Rough a club. And try the king of hearts. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> he gave me a heart attack with that jack of hard play. Just making sure the streamers stick around. <laughs> this is so cool. He's playing with me. He's messing with me. He's trolling me. I'm getting trolled by James Holtzauer right now. That's awesome. I'm so pumped about that. Oh, my partner has to four spades to be Blackwood. Um,
I'm going to pass here. Real Tao Gaming. Uh, thank you for the follow. I, I didn't see, Zarukan, I didn't see a main difference between ducking the club and playing ace in a club. I mean, part of the reason why I played, I ducked the club was because I thought it kept some fluidity on some of the lines. If Trump's broke 2-2, two -two, I, I maybe kept kept alive the possibility of just like setting up the dummies hearts instead of roughing a club. I just thought it kept a little more fluidity um, to the hand to duck the club first. That's why I did it. So the clubs look like they're blocked at this point. Uh, the diamond bidder is east. I'm going to play low here. So you get king, queen, fourth of clubs, and um, and also the uh, king, jack, fifth of diamonds. So probably the hearts are not breaking. Um, so now I have a club loser, and I have a diamond loser. For sure, and I can pitch one of them, but all right, let's go ace of hearts, see what happens. I might have a trump loser as well. Okay, I'm guessing the hearts are going to be 4 1. I mean, if he's got six diamonds and four clubs, like it appears he does, he has to have a stiff in one either spades or hearts. So it's more likely a stiff heart. Um, Um, yeah, that, uh, I mean, yeah, he would probably lead a spade. I am thinking that he has a stiff heart as well. Part of me is not wanting to cash the, um, part of me is not wanting to cash the dummy's last heart. Because if I cash king of hearts, and now I go ace, king, queen, a spades, pitch a club, for example. Now, I, it looks like I probably have to lose two diamond tricks. But then, no, I can play, can I play a, a diamond and simply let him win it? And then he has no more trumps to to play, to um to knock out the trumps. Yeah, I think I can go king of hearts, ace king queen of spades, pitch a club, and then just a diamond. And oh no, but he can can he rough it and play a trump? No, but then he condenses a loser. I'm gonna go king of hearts. Oh okay, he followed. All right, that was a bit of a surprise. So I'm just gonna draw the trump now. Um, let's go Trump now, um, and pitch a club, and now let's go Ace of Spades, King of Spades, he had six spades, okay, he opened two diamonds with a five bagger, pitch the club, Yeah, nice play, James. Um, I'm gonna pass this hand. Very disciplined. Very, very disciplined. Um, and maybe we'll hope to come back in later and describe. Part of me wanted to just play the rush and like open a heart because like look at these like slew of good results coming in.
Um, I'm gonna redouble here, alert, and and show. Um... Two spades and competitive values. Any doubleton spade and competitive values. <laughs> um I'm gonna just bid uh two hearts here to just suggest hearts is a strain. I think it's natural. In, in his space for the negative double, because I I don't know, maybe we belong in hearts. I mean, she knows I have a doubles in spade anyway, so she's going back to, uh, we play one club, two clubs is natural for sure. The hand seems very misfitty. I'm gonna get out now and pass. Um, would I open one heart since, um, I almost will open one heart in two over one just because I'm crazy like that. I'm not going to open a club with this hand just because my, if my clubs were ace king and my hearts were jack, I might open a club. But, um, no, I think pass is more accurate even in precision and just try to describe it later. I don't understand the ace of hearts play. I would just be drawing trump. I mean, my, my hand is good. My diamonds are good. Why am I drawing, why am I playing ace king heart? She's going for elopement now. She's going to try to play a heart and rough it down. Not crazy, not crazy. Oh, good luck. Okay, Nikki, thank you. These diamonds are going to start getting roughed. I think I think he had 6 of them probably. Interesting. I like this play, roughing the diamond with the ten of spades. I like that a lot. Utilizing the trump and the dummy. Now that she's going to try to take three spade tricks, it might happen. We'll see. We'll see if she gets over. She's not getting over roughed in clubs. He would have let a stiff club. He's got to have a doubleton club. He had six diamonds, four hearts, two spades, and one club. Maybe he did have two spades and one club. Six diamonds. No, six. What am I missing here? Six diamonds, two clubs, two spades. Did he have only three hearts to make a negative double? What am I missing? Is she going to score a jack of spades? Uh, ooh, maybe she should have rough with the jack of spades there. Yeah, I did. Alright, didn't matter. What did I miss? What was his shape? Oh, he had only five diamonds. That's right. She had five diamonds, not four. Ha <laughs>
I'm just gonna pass here. I'm just going to lead a diamond. Uh, all of a sudden, I got prime. All of a sudden, they gave me prime back. That's funny. Does he know we're playing north-south? Yeah, we are. I made myself south also, by the way. Diamond to the eight and deuce. Hard up. I'm going to duck. Make him burn another dummy entry. Maybe if he has king, queen, ten, fifth. Um, hmm. All right, I guess I'll duck. Yeah, I know. So a heart duck was good here. He misguessed it. So I guess I'll just win uh, Cash Ace of Hearts and get some sort of direction from my partner of where to go. Diamond, Spade. I'm kind of pitched a low club. Jeez. Uh, How much can he really have in Spades, though? So just play another spade. Jack of spades? Ah, that's tough. Oh, uh, dang, was I supposed to cash my clubs? Shit. I think I was. Did Claire had the Queen of Diamonds? Oh man. No, I didn't. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I did a stupid in the club suit. Hi. Hi, turtle. Um. Majors. I'm going to double.
Uh, maybe I underbid my hand a little bit here, but I didn't have a spade stopper. What was I meant to do? Um, do we make three now? We have five clubs and two spades and the ace of hearts. I count eight tricks. Uh, I don't even think we're going to make three clubs, though. Two diamonds, a spade, and a heart. Yeah, I guess we'll make three clubs. Um, the issue is, though... Um, the issue is um, that if I duck the first heart, which I kind of want to do... I'm afraid of, I'm afraid of the diamond rough. So like, I kind of want to duck the heart because remember, I need to get rid of these heart losers and I kind of need to rough them in the dummy. But the problem is he can shift to diamonds and then get a diamond rough if I duck the heart. So I kind of need to draw a trump. Um, but, why, but I can't really effectively draw a trump and then not lose a million tricks in the minors. I can pitch one spade, but I'll have to manage something with the other spade. Um, I guess I'll go queen and play the ace. I'm going to play the king of trumps. Let's see how they break. Um, I'm going to go queen of trumps here and play the 10. Right. Now the question is diamond or a spade. Maybe I'll try to sneak the eight of diamonds over. Ooh. Uh, they they should have played hard heart and start tapping the dummy. Maybe we would make three now. Two spades. I don't see it though. Two spades and five clubs and an ace of hearts. It really, it would get really interesting. I'm not sure what the idea of meta section is, Colin Schloss. Um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bid three spades here. Um,
And so I like to play three spades as sort of just a logical bid, right? I don't have a hand that necessarily wants to bid 3 now outright. But, I, I mean, I want to leave it open if my partner has something like Queen Doubleton of Spades. I need to play it from her hand. So, I mean, whatever she wants to do. Okay, she had like a really minimal hand for the three heart bids. So this is not going to make, I don't think. Especially on a club lead. We have a club loser. Well, wait a minute. I mean, game actually isn't horrible. It's just probably not going to make. If the club finesse were on side, it, it might make. Clubs are like king and one on side. We lose a diamond, a spade, and maybe one heart. Queen of hearts, I like. Ace. They have to be a little bit careful here. They have to shift to spades. If they play a diamond, uh, diamond, diamond tap, she can rough it and set up the long club to pitch the spade. So they have to play spades. They have to be accurate here. I think Jones is out of trump, probably. So, no, no, uh, yeah, club and a diamond. If they play diamond, diamond, she'll make it. She can rough, draw the last trump, and play clubs. Spade shift is accurate by Mr. Holtzauer. Very accurate. Kill the dummy entry while you still have the king of clubs. While you still have control, you might as well play a club. You can manage the hearts of the diamonds later. That's very accurate play. And she's, it's just curtains here. She can't do anything. Um, yeah, James plays a lot with Aaron Jones. Aaron is a, is a pro player from, uh, he's living on the East Coast now, but he was originally from the West Coast. Um, so, yeah, this is an established partnership. I don't know, is he getting a club rough now too? Okay, he's getting a club rough now too, so down two. Um, I'm going to do something that's going to take a lot of you surprised. I I'm going to actually pass this hand. It's an 11 count, but it's jack high in spades. I, th this is not something that I would normally do, but I'm just, I'm just taking a position on this hand to pass red, white. I don't love it. Are you just unsubscribed to me because I passed this hand? Like, yeah, I don't really want to open this hand of spade. I have ace, queen of spades. I have jacks. Cletus Burgers, yes, this is the Aaron Jones with a with a BBO star. He's won at least one national championship, probably more. Um, My partner is thinking.
This should be forcing. I mean, I know, but it's it's like as strong as I can be. I mean, I hope we didn't miss a game. I did, I did everything that I could. Besides, uh, two club losers. All right, no, I think we're. I think this is actually okay. Uh, I need. Let's see how they defend. By the way, club, club, club is not impossible. Club, club, club is, is uh, where do I take the rough? If I'm in four spades, where do I take the rough on club, club, club? Think about that for a second. Club, club, spade. All right, let's just go ace. Um, I'm going to unblock my hearts. I don't want to get cut off from them. So I go low. And I play a spade. Okay. So I guess I go king. And now the heart. And now the other heart. Rough. Over rough. Play the diamond. To the queen. And now a diamond. Ten. Um, so the substitute is going to be, um, Lu Lolo Bridge and Kivman. Queen of Spades lead. I guess I'll just give her the deuce. I mean, there's no bath coup. The jack of spades is in the dummy. So I, I just like spades at this point. Uh, but that's not what I was looking for. Queen of spades low. Why didn't we play the? Why didn't we play the? Why didn't we play the queen of spades in that trick? She thought I did the ace of spades. No, no, she thought she has king queen ten x. She thought I had ace ace third. Maybe that was my fault.
She was trying to not block the spades if I had ace third and declare had four smaller than nine. Maybe the deuce is a bad play. That was an interesting thing. I didn't really feel I had a lot of time to think about it. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll pitch a diamond. Oh man, this is brutal. I'll pitch a heart here. I just get ended. Um, let me, um, let me add the sub. Wow, there's a lot of people registered here. And then R. Duran. We're going to replace R. Duran twelve sixteen with um, let me just get that username right. I have no idea how I'm able to figure out how to do all these things, like replace players and things like that. Like, I really don't know when I became such like a technical person, but like, yeah. Like my parents call me for help with like their computers now and everything, like it's just. Uh, by the way, I'm going to give a plug. I mean, I feel like so ridiculous doing this, but on my stream, I'm going to give a plug for James. He said, watch the chase tonight if there are no more coup attempts to preempt primetime programming, uh, which is funny. So James, is, if you all know, there's a new, uh, there's a new series called The Chase, um, which features uh, Jeopardy champions like James Holtower and Ken Jennings. And their people are challenging them, and it's a game show, and it's supposed to be really good. So James is on there, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, we'll definitely have to tune into the chase. Of course, that's after my over-the-shoulder events. There are no conflicts there. I know that that would be a lot of that would be like a big conflict of interest. Um, I'm definitely gonna rewind this one. I have a 10 count. Um, 
And they have now entered into a live auction, and we have the balance of power. So two spades, I can't actually double this, but like I can at least like say like, yo, this is my auction. This is awesome. It's so awesome for uh, James and Aaron to come on um, and and play and be uh, gracious enough to play against this on on stream. That was really nice. So thank you again to them. Um, I guess I just pass here. I mean, my partner's limited her hand. I mean, maybe we have a magic game, but I'm just gonna pass and not worry about it. We're having a pretty nice set, I would say, honestly. Like, a couple of small things here and there, but, like, I'd say we had a pretty nice game. Let's finish up strong here. Alright, I'm going to play the queen. Um, the opponents had 10 spades. They have a club rough available also, but I don't, wanna I don't want them to find it. Club, club, club rough. Okay, so now... Um, I'm gonna play the ace. I, I might have to be a little careful if I get 4-1 trumps here, actually. Um, let me just think about this for a second. We know the spades are 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, so if the, if the trumps are 4-1 and I draw four rounds of trumps and play a club, they win it and play a spade. And now I haven't established my clubs. So I actually think I have to play clubs first. And if they take a rough, club, club, club rough, I don't care. I'm still making. So I think I actually have to play clubs first here. It's it's like a technical thing, but I think it's right. If they play a heart, now I'll go back to trumps and then establish the club. So the spade, so now I rough it, and I continue establishing my clubs. And now the clubs go 2-2, and now they can't play a spade because I can take the tap on the board. And now I draw trump and claim. As long as they all fall on the ace of diamonds. And if they don't all follow on the ace of diamonds, then I still will claim because I'll play a club. And now I can even handle 5-0, but now I just have the rest. I can draw all the trumps. Do your side work first. But it didn't matter here. Because the diamonds were 3-2. Alright, let's see here. I could play trump trump, but yeah, I, I mean, it's uh, that would probably be fine also. If I leave one trump on the dummy. Diamonds go 5-0. It's not good, though. I like Linda's 3-diamond bid, by the way. That was nice. Like, she knew I had value. She knows I have primary diamonds. And she's got, like, good diamond support and not real interest in penalizing spades. So I thought that was a really nice bid. 3-diamonds. Especially with the fifth club, too, because you're kind of a pure hand. Uh, I'm going to leave fourth best, my longest and strongest. <laughs> King and Ace. Um, we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to get Linda on here after these boards are complete, and maybe she'll be uh, gracious enough to go over the hands with uh, with the entire stream, so we can actually go over and go through 
and get her audio on here through uh, either, probably through Facebook Messenger, honestly. All right, she's giving me reverse Smith and Clubs. I uh, win it. I mean, do I really, but do I really want to go Jack? I know she doesn't have a 10 of clubs. Do I really want to go Jack of clubs here? She did give me reverse Smith and hearts, if it's true. I mean, I kind of have to trust it. I mean, maybe she has nine, maybe she has a nine third of clubs remaining. Dang. I mean, I, I kind of want to play Jack of clubs, but it's a big play if it's wrong. Um,. Yeah, but the other thing about that's good about Jack of Clubs is that I'm, if she actually has like, but if she if it's low heart, it's even count. Fuck. Um, I'm gonna go Jack of Clubs. I'm gonna trust my partner. We are playing low low and carry. She gave me low low hearts. I'm gonna trust her with the Smith. He was a little bit slow. Ten of Clubs now. Uh, she should have played the Ten of Clubs at trick one. I'm confused by that. Why did she play the king? There's no way she would have done that with king 10 third. The only possible holding is is uh, king 10 tight. It's <laughs> fucking crazy. Um. Four times. Four, maybe declares four four in the minors with with three spades and uh, doubleton heart. I'm gonna cash the ace of hearts. I think declares has got a doubleton heart, and um, then I'm gonna exit and and just cut him off from the dummy. I'm just gonna exit uh, with the diamond here and just cut him off from the dummy. Just make sure my partner knows I have the last heart so that she can pitch her hearts if she wants. I'm hoping. Yeah. Pitch a heart, Linda. What? What? Why are we not pitching hearts? I pitched off my heart for a reason. I pitched my last heart, Linda. I pitched my heart. Pitch your hearts. Thank you. Yeah, no, I did. I definitely pinned the 10. That was definitely what I was looking to do. Yeah, she should have played the 10 of clubs at trick one. Low, low. Yeah, 10 is definitely the right play in the club suit. I'm going to make a support double here. No, I did alert it. No, no, it's alerted. You see, it's alerted. What? 
It's alerted, dude. It's alerted, Creejal. It's totally alerted. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I maybe should have bid. Um, I'm gonna leave the King of Diamonds roost to know. Let's see if we're getting rough here. Six is very high. But I mean, it could be six third or it could actually be six seven doubleton. Um, I think I need to shift to a heart. Um, um, if Declare is 2-2 in the reds, um, um, or if Declare is the ace of clubs, I can't really play a club. So I think I need to just shift to a heart. All right, so it's great. We're gonna get Linda on this, uh, Linda's audio on the stream afterwards, and we'll be able to go through the hands with Linda. Do do do. Um, I guess I'll pitch a diamond. Declare played the ten to trick one, so I don't think Declare can have four. But if they played the ten with a four bagger, then like credit to them. That was a nice play. So I'll win it. Was it six seven doubleton? It was six seven doubleton. Jesus. Oh uh, yeah, I suck. Couldn't read the six. Could not read the six. Sorry, partner, I could not read the six of diamonds. It could have been six third. It's really annoying. That's fine. I could have given her a diamond rough. Oh well. No, that wasn't random. By the way, that's a really good concept that you should be aware of. You always want to um, signal, uh, so like, as declarer, signal as they signal to make it hard for them to read their own signals. So um, that's kind of an important concept. Um, and I'll explain that more in a second. So this is um, so um, so that means that you know he knows our carding is upside down, 
So when we lead a diamond, and he's trying to figure out what diamond to play in order to make it hard for us to read our signals, he's supposed to signal as we would signal. So if he is 10 third as declare, he's supposed to play the 10, because now it makes the 6 look high, and I can't tell whether it's 6 third. So you signal as the defender signal to try to defuse their own signals. It's an interesting concept. Two diamonds. All right, I'm going to bid uh, two now. Here, I have a spade stopper. I'm going a little aggressive, but... And if we played standard carding, um, he should play the three to make it look like the six could have been from ten seven six. So the signal, however, whatever our signaling method is, he mirrors it with his holding. That that makes it hard for us to read the signal. That's something that's really important to do um, as you're trying to um, if you're if you're trying to become an expert and you don't do things like that, immediately people are going to realize that you're not an expert. So that's like a, a big thing there. Um, uh, I wonder what the leads in carding are. Last board. Um... All right, there's no technical reason for me to play the jack. There's like there's like other reasons. Like if she had led from like ace, queen, 10, jack, ace, queen, 10, eight, like X, I, I could win, consider winning the jack. And if she has the ace of hearts, maybe try to play it hard, make it hard for her to lead another spade. But that's a little bit too deep. I'm just going to play the play low and play a hard up and hope the spades are 3-3. Three, three. I mean, what other play do I have in the hand? What other play do I have? Play the king. All right, go low. It looks like I'm gonna go down, but what can I do? Looks like ace, queen, 10, fifth. Alrighty, down one. Four diamonds, two hearts, and a club now. Alright, so let's just check to see um let's just check to see what board they're on. Let me just see here for a second. Um, um Where's Lou? Um, who am I looking for at the other table? J R R. Okay, right here. Let's see. Let's see how we're doing. All right, so we're winning. They're on board 15. So I'm gonna call. Um, I'm gonna call uh, Linda now. Uh, and we're gonna go through the hands. Um, give me one second while I just get this call set up. Yeah, JRR. Um, let me just do, uh, Linda. Linda Robinson. Start a voice call. Allow. Let's see if this works.
Linda? Hi. Hi there, how are you? I'm fine. Oh wait, I'm gonna turn off the music. Hold on one second. Okay. Um all right. Um nice playing this morning. You're on the stream, by the way. Can everyone hear Linda? Can someone just tell me if you can hear her? Linda? Oh, I'm in a seat. Yes. Here, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, yeah. It's a, they're saying you should be louder. I should be louder? Yeah, can you make it a little bit louder? Or can you just speak a little bit louder? Okay. I'm pretty loud. <laughs> Okay, no, you're doing great. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so I'm able to see the results, Linda. Um, I'm kibitzing now. If you click my name and click join, I'm now kibitzing uh, at the table with Lee, uh, Lou and Sheila. And we are winning. Okay. Um, let me go to, uh, let's see, kibitzing. Uh, okay, give me a second. All right. By the way, thank you so much, Linda, for... Um, coming on coming on the stream um, that's very much appreciated hey I'm 69 years old I feel terrific playing on Twitch right <laughs> let me let me try to make you a little bit louder let me see try speaking now okay all right I'm gonna make you even louder so I'm I've, I've maxed out your volume on my end I've done everything I can to make you louder um, I've got it on, it's on my iPad, so, um, you know. Okay. Um, wait, now I need to make sure that my sounds on BBO are off. Much better, they're saying. Okay. Uh, sound effects. I don't know why I'm hearing things. Sounds. Oh, you're hearing, you're hearing, I can turn off the annoyed. Oh yeah, can you can you go to your settings and turn off the um, yeah, yeah, sound yeah, yeah, yeah. of the yeah, cards yeah. being played? Right. Thank you for the follow, Jay Nikolov. Yeah, so just go into the account tab. Uh, I'm all set. Okay. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, um, so are you able to see the the hands? If you click on the top left hand corner where it says Sheila fourteen Adam fifty two then it should populate the hands. Got it. I'm okay. All, all right, so we're winning by quite a lot here. So I guess let's just start from the top and go through. Um, the first board we played in, uh, we defended three spades. James did well, I think, to balance with three spades. I don't know if we can go higher. They did not bid three spades at the other table. Okay, so we won imps there. That was pretty mundane. That we lost three there. Then we played in four clubs. Um, he, they didn't cash out, so it was uh, three clubs at the other table. So again, that was pretty dull. Um, I don't have any comments. Oh yeah, you know we should probably discuss the bidding on board too. Um, I was wondering if yeah. So since you showed hearts in a minor, I was hoping that my um, my Mechwell advances, the, you know, the Mechwell advances would still be extrapolated. So did you take my Tuno Trump is like? Uh, showing values and asking for the minor. Yes. Okay. And when you bid three hearts, you meant it as clubs in a good hand, or? Yeah. Um. Basically, yes. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Like, I know our responses to that normally, if they don't bid three diamonds, are three clubs is clubs in a minimum, three diamonds is diamonds in a minimum, and then three hearts is clubs with a maximum, and three spades is diamonds with a maximum. So I wasn't sure if you were doing that, or what exactly. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I could have um, passed since you already have passed hand. We weren't going to play five clubs, so I yeah. passed. I think. Well, whatever. I mean, this was fine. Um, all right. So on the next board, we played two spades. We won an imp somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, um, I agree with your decision to, and how you bid it. The next board. Um, well done to make six spades. I don't think it was bid at the other table. They opened two spades and then bid only four spades at the other table. So it was a much different evaluation. You know, you know that you've got. You know that you've become an aggressive player if you're preempting more aggressively than Lou Gammerman. <laughs> That's your metric. If your preempts are more aggressive than Lou's, 
you should maybe, you know, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's, um, um, in terms of the play, I thought you played it really well. I mean, um, I, I just do have one slight, slight, um, uh, suggestion at the end. Um, yeah. So Queen of Diamonds, you know, clearly he's either led from a Queen Jack sequence or short shortage. Um, and then the very relevant seven comes at trick one. And you and now so that's an important spot because it fills in. You're just missing the jack and the nine for the spots, right? Mm -hmm. um, so then when you keep playing, I agree totally. Ace of spades, jack of spades, um, you uh, play queen of spades, nine of spades. And then played and pitched the clubs. I loved it. Ace of heart, king of hearts, queen of hearts, pitch a diamond, rough a heart to your hand. I agree with everything you've done so far. At the four card ending, since since your your since Jones had was short in hearts and he was short in um, spades. Also, you know that he's led a diamond from length, right? So the one diamond that you know that he has for sure is the jack because he's made a queen lead from length right so since the seven of diamonds has already fallen and you have the eight and the six and the five um you can actually just lead the ten of diamonds here in the ending and the idea is if jones has jack nine deuce remaining there's nothing he can do it can go ten jack ace but then you can just drive out his his nine and your spot will be good at the end and that would be a, a safer way to do it because the way that you did it by running the eight of diamonds, you actually had to guess whether he had jack nine third and now ducked or whether it was stiff nine offside. And if you had ducked the diamond, now you get tapped out. He can just tap you now and the diamonds are blocked. So do you see why the 10 is a better play? Right, right, right. I forgot. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I wasn't sure about the seven. Okay. All right. That was it. I okay. did not pay close attention at trick one. All right. So... I uh, I should have I if I'd seen the seven I definitely would have run the nine. That's uh, okay. I'm getting a suggestion to make the screen um to make the width of the screen bigger. I'm trying to do that. Let me just see what I can do. Otherwise, I've made I've maxed it out kind of. Let me try to make my face smaller. Um, I'm just I'm just tweaking a couple of things on my end, Linda. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. and I'm gonna try to see what I can do here. Maybe that's slightly better. Um, I know it's slightly better, but David, um, but thank you for that suggestion. Let me know if it still needs to me to improve it more. Um, just as a note for my bidding, Linda, um, you know I wasn't I wasn't fully confident in in bidding poor man's Blackwood like this or preempt key card because I didn't have a club control, but I didn't have a better way to bid the hand. I thought. I thought it was, I mean, how do I isolate the club control at this point? You know what I mean? That's, that's fine. You yeah. know, I mean, I, I, uh, I just, uh, gave you the right answer. That's all I could do. Yeah. Um, all right. The next board, board five, um, we playing in one note Trump. Um, I got out for down one. That was fine. The next board, three diamonds. Uh, I guess we won a part score here. Uh, at the other table, they bid three no with your hand. But I thought you did really well to go low because the diamonds were blocked. I mean, the ace king of diamonds is potentially very problematic on a spade lead. So they actually did defeat three no trump at the other table on a spade lead and a spade continuation. Um, so that was good that we, we got out there in three diamonds. Well, I was also asking if, I mean, I didn't think it was very likely we were going to be above three diamonds but if you had four hearts i mean i you could easily have had four hearts on this maybe we want to you know i want to that would have been useful to know um in yeah. our ogre system you could have answered yeah yeah i could have been three of the opposite major to show four hearts yes exactly um board seven um This was a nice sequence. I thought we got to four, a nice four hearts, which was a push at the other table. Um, um, 
Board number eight, uh, two diamond opening. Somehow we lost a bunch of imps on this board. We lost eight. I guess we can make three now. I wasn't sure if we could make three now. That was a tough opening bid. What do you advise? I could. I, I didn't want to. I like two diamonds. Hand. I like two diamonds. I would. I would definitely open two diamonds with your hand. I mean, I, I mean, he made four sixty. I guess the queen of diamonds is in the pocket. The king of hearts is in the pocket. The hand is extremely friendly. Yeah. Um. So whatever. We missed a white game. What did Lou open with the hand? Uh, Sheila bid two no trump over two diamonds. I mean, that was uh. I, she I I I did not bid two no trump with my hand. I looked at my hand. I said I have only fifteen points. I don't have a fitting card in your diamond suit to run it. I was just, I wasn't going anywhere with that. Because um, remember, no trump is all about a trick source. And I mean, just given your range 5 to 10 points or 5 to 11 or whatever it is, I don't have a fitting diamond card. If I had a 15 count comprised of a fitting diamond card, queen and a diamond, king and a diamond, yes, okay, I will bid no trump. But with two little diamonds, no way. Um... Then six diamonds. I thought was I thought this was a really really nice bid. This four club bid um, as an advanced cube bid for diamonds. I thought that was a great bid. Um, they bid one no trump, weak no trump, and then Sheila just bid four no trump quantitative. They didn't even find the diamond slam, so we um, we picked up big there on this board. Uh, Whole tower almost gave me a heart attack when you played the jack of hearts and the double uh, uh, on the second round. That was. I, let, I really like how he was messing with me. It was really cool. So that's good. Um, yeah, we were discussing whether, like, what Blackwood would be in this sequence. Um, so, I mean, I, I, the question is, should four hearts be kickback for me? And... Um, depending on what type of what style of rule we're playing where like if it's a non jump in your primary suit can it ever be kickback i don't know with some partnerships i would think four hearts is kickback if i have like a looser definition of when it's kickback but in other partnerships i wouldn't and i guess i'll just ask you like which which style would you prefer like hearts are kind of out of the picture at this point right because you've limited your number of hearts when you bid two no trump and i've said that i don't have a heart fit when i bid three diamonds so I mean, should should it just be Blackwood to bid four hearts? But well, I had this. I had a hand a few days ago with a, um, a another young expert whom you know extremely well. Extremely well. Okay. Yeah, and um, he wasn't sure, so he just bid seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah, classic yeah, Zach. Yeah, hey, I'm not sure what Blackwood is. Let me just pop a grand and hope it makes. Right, right. Well, we were off a cashing ace, but I was able to. Um, they it was in the obviously in the other hand, and the, wow. the opening leader's hand, and I made it on a pop up. Screen. And you wrapped it up, amazing. <laughs> Which is, you know, not good for partnership discipline. From but you know. So Linda, you tell me which style are you more comfortable with? Would you like to just play four hearts when it's when it's not a possible strain, even if it's your primary suit to be Blackwood, or do you want to skip it? I'll think about it. We All can right. Talk about it later. All right. Let's table it and figure it out. <laughs> All right. The next board we played in three hearts. Uh, did they get too high at the other table? I guess. I guess they got too high. Um, yeah. Um. Then you played in two spades. This was I thought was a nice result. Um, we had a, a good auction to stay low. I thought. Um, they played in two spades as well at the other table. Um, anything to the play? Ace of diamonds. Spade. So you're going to lose. I was thinking, Linda, that, um, that um, if I were declaring this hand on the ace of diamonds lead roughed, I was thinking that I would have probably just played trumps. And my idea is I'm just going to draw Trump and try to take all the diamond tricks. I have the ace-king of hearts, and I have, I have five side tricks, right? You have, you have five tricks on the side. You have the ace-king of hearts and the king-queen jack of diamonds, right? You have five tricks on the side, and you have a spade trick already in the bank. 
So even if the spades are like 4-2, you can still play ace and a trump and then just like start running your diamonds. And I think that you're gonna I think that that's gonna like make the contract assuredly. Right? I think you just go ace and a trump. Let's say they win it with the eight and they they play, they tap you with a club. So you take the tap, and now um, you just start start running the diamonds and you stay in control. So um, I think you would you would you would lose um, three spade tricks and a club trick is is four, and if the eight of diamonds isn't good by the end, you would lose it. But since the ten nine fall, uh, you would make three that way. Okay. You know, so uh, yeah, I I I see what you did. You were trying to score the. You're trying to like kind of cross rough and score the roughs. But the problem with the line is that um, you, you you're not able to enjoy those two good diamonds in your hands, and and potentially leave yourself open for uppercuts. So I think it was better to just draw Trump. Okay. Um. Two hearts. Uh, uh, I did something stupid in the end game here. I overtook your king of clubs. And I was distracted. Sorry about that. Um, but I mean, this was. I think it was fine, right? Um, diamond led heart to the king. I ducked, and then he misguessed the hearts on the way back. Spade to the ace. And uh, I played the ace of hearts, he pitched a club. And then I played spade, spade. And I, I should have just, when he played the heart, I should have just pitched a club. And then when he played the other heart, I should have just pitched a diamond. And just and just kept my 13 spade. We could have set this more. That was my fault. Um, but we won imps anyway. Um, 9, 20, 110, 50. 110. Three clubs. Um, yeah, I thought this was an interesting auction um, to play in three clubs. You know, like one no Trump opening, fine, no issues. I don't. I actually don't know whether I would open your hand one no Trump. I think it's close, r vulnerable. Um, maybe not, but. Um, yeah, I agree with your pass of two spades, and I agree with your pass of three clubs. So um, we missed a, a sort of a thin three. No, I'm not really sure like how we can bid this better. I don't know whether three no is even a good spot. Well, I, we have a couple of bids for you to show clubs. Other, I mean, double just is a general bid, right? We have a whole system. Yeah, maybe I should have done something differently over two clubs. So I figured you had an intermediate hand with five clubs. That was right. And that's what I, that's what I showed. So. And so, that was that. You 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 gave me the whether that was the message you intended to give me. That's what you gave me. So that's what I interpreted as. So. Yeah. And I was correct. So. All right, four hearts down to um. This was I thought this was pretty um. Pretty normal. I mean, your three heart balance is aggressive, um, but. I mean, your alternative is to pass, which isn't great either. So, I mean, I, I think it's a toss-up. I think in match points, I would probably balance. In imps, I mean, probably it's fine for you to... Uh, um, it's probably fine for you to pass it out. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to emphasize, like, my three-spade bid with this hand. I'm not sure whether, when you saw the dummy, whether you were expecting a third heart. But in this case... Um, I just think that I need to bid three spades sometimes on hands that uh, contain a doubleton heart and are looking to play three no trump from your side, maybe, like if you had queen and one or something like that. Um, I didn't think, I didn't take it one way or the other. If I'd only had five hearts, it would have been four clubs. Right, but I'm, I was, I'm also just trying to make the point that, like, if you had a, a, a stopper, you would bid three no, right, just in case I meant three spades is, like, western or, like... Oh, yeah. Like I'm just saying that it's not necessarily uh, a heart raise in this situation. No, I didn't. T I didn't take it as that. Okay. I almost didn't. It, 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 I thought it was very close in imps to, to, to even bid. Okay. You know, and uh, I would have. I was always going down one, if if I if. On the, on the no, I, I totally agree with how you played it. And if they were inaccurate on defense, if they played diamond diamond, when Holtzauer was in, if he played diamond diamond 
instead of playing a spade, you were going to make it. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they had to play pretty accurately to beat it. Yeah. Um, all right, the next board, um, we played in two spades, making uh, an over trick. They got to four spades down one. So Sheila went a club double pass. She bid. She just bid four spades in my hand. I know that. You, I know that uh, we play sort of an aggressive initial action style. So that's why I just gave you a little bit more space to bid it like this. And I learned it is like stronger than a jump to two spades. If I'm an unpassed hand, I know you know this, but I'm just saying this for my stream. But if I'm an unpassed hand and I cubid and then bid a new suit, that is forcing, for sure, right? But since I'm a pass hand, you can pass. And so the European style where you would, where you might bid uh, three spades um, with a five card suit and stuffs, um, to, you know, a, sort of a mixed kind of thing, showing five spades, uh, you know, you didn't consider that? or we had No, uh, that, that's a good point, Linda. Yeah, I, maybe I should have considered that more. But I wasn't sure exactly how you would take a jump to three spades. I mean, people do play that differently. Zach and I do actually play a chosen hand like this, highly invitational with five spades. But the question is, is it based on high cards or is it based on shape? Because if you think it's based on shape, it's not actually a great description of my hand. If you think it's based on high cards, then it's fine. So I, I wanted to emphasize the high card element. That's why I went by cubiting first. Okay. Um, In any case, we figured it out. Yeah. And um, yeah, I might, go to, I might I might actually go to four if you had made the other bid. Um, it's hard. My hand is kind of in, mishy. Yeah. And not by a passed hand. I was never going to game when two were. By the way, did you notice that I passed this hand and didn't open? Um, let me see. Uh, I had eleven points in five four shape. Uh, let me, I'm just going to, every time he plays, it shifts, the, shifts the, uh, You know, you should, stuff. you can now, you should be able to see it in the history tab now. I'm in the history tab. Oh, okay. It still shifts it around. Okay. Okay. Um, because it puts the, it puts the bit board they just put in and gives me the results. So it flips it down just the way my interface is working. All right. That's great. Yes, I did notice that. And, um, you know, if it had been the King Jacket, King Jack. Nine of diamonds, you might have opened it. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay. It was very close. All right, then we defended 2 no Trump. This was super interesting um, on the Queen of Spades lead. Um, and it goes low. And my thought process at trick one when I played the deuce was, well, she's not going to get bath cooed because the jack of spades is on the dummy. So there's no fear in that. And that's why I just encouraged it. But maybe I was wrong here. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have played the deuce of spades. Because in anticipation of this exact problem, that you might you might be fearful that I had a third of spades and not want to block the spade suit. Um, it's it's difficult. It's a very difficult um, situation when I encourage. So I mean, yeah, I, I I'm not sure exactly what card I should play and what the exact meaning is when I when I encourage. I have to think about this one a little bit more. Well, it wasn't three no Trump, so I wasn't feeling feeling real nervous about yeah. what to do on this hand. Um, and I, you know, I I don't have much of an entry over there. I might have the ten of clubs. Yeah, you're right. You might have a club entry. You might have a club entry. Yeah. Okay. I think it's right. I think it's difficult, and I certainly understand why you played a low spade. And I'll have to think more about whether I should have played a different spade. I considered playing the three, um, but maybe I should also play the nine of spades. Maybe that's just the most accurate if I play the nine of spades under the queen. But would you? But the reason why I didn't play the nine of spades is would you ever lead the uh, queen of spades from king queen third? And if you lead the queen of spades from king queen third, and I play the nine, guess what? That squanders the trick. Well, I'm not allowed to. I have to lead the king from king queen third, don't I? No, we're playing. Or we're playing king as the power lead, right? And roost to know otherwise. Oh, so you have to lead the queen with any. I have to lead the queen. Okay. Yeah. I, I I gotta go review that. Okay. okay. Um. 
then we we played in uh, three diamonds. I really like how you bid this hand, by the way. I really like how you bid three diamonds over two spades with ace jack third of diamonds and like two little spades. I thought that was a very practical bid. Um. Well, your redouble told me that you didn't have that the dog six point hand that wanted to play one. Exactly. So you had five guns, probably. Yeah. Um, okay, the next board we defended one no Trump. Um, I was, I, I think you should play the ten of clubs at trick one. Um, when I lead the deuce of clubs against one no Trump, um, since you know that we're playing fourth best, hey Leia, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Since you know we're playing fourth best and Declare has a four card club holding, I think that the ten is probably better um because like let's suppose declare has the ace of clubs well if declare has the ace of clubs it's definitely better to play the 10 if even but even if declare has something like <clears throat> let's say declare has something like jack empty fourth of clubs linda and i led the juice of clubs from ace nine fourth right if you play the 10 of clubs a trick one now declare only gets one club trick in the suit because it forces out the jack and then you can take the king and then i have ace nine so I think for that reason, the ten of clubs is a better play at trick one. Yeah, I, I agree. What it, it, there's a difference between defending one no trump and other contracts, and in this case, you've got other cards over there. I'm not happy to unblock, basically. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, and then yeah, I took your deuce of hearts as Smith, um, and then my and of course my thinking, which was wrong on this hand, was okay. Well, she gave me positive Smith in in hearts. Well, I'm thinking, well, Linda can't have the Ten of Clubs because she would have played the Ten of Clubs at trick one. So I said, okay, she must have <coughs> she must have a nine. She must have nine fourth remaining. I thought the clubs were were split. I thought that you had started. You had the nine six four remaining, and Declare had the stiff ten. That's why I played the Jack of Clubs next. All right, and I forgot Smith as usual. That's that's my fault. <laughs> no worries. Um, wasn't a big deal. Um, then we defended two spades. Uh, this seemed pretty normal. Oh, oh yeah, Declare made a nice play of hiding the the diamond spot for me, so I didn't know I should give you a rough. We can hold it. Um, uh, Jim went down in two spades. Wow, I'm just watching this on my screen. Oh, we played a spade to the ace. I think we have enough imps so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. And then the last board um, was fairly normal. I mean, we got to a somewhat aggressive three. No, no, uh, no play. Yeah, I had extras, but you did have extras. I did not. I, I had. <laughs> I, I was borrowing some of your points. Let's see what Par rule does. Or let's see what uh, Sheila does over one heart. She bids a no trump or she bids two clubs. That's Sheila. Has she bid a no trump? I mean, but they're probably going to get to three no anyway, right? Right. He's going to bid two diamonds. Sheila will bid two no and Lou will bid three no. Probably. Yeah, I guess it should should be a pretty easy defense. Well, yeah, we'll see. So you're gonna watch uh, James Holtzauer in the chase tonight? Uh, what is that? Is that a Twitch thing or? No, no, no. He he has like a new TV program, um, where he's like on actual like live TV, like mainstream tell like WBC, like a big network. And like is is doing a game show, like a, a new game show that they're promoting. It's him and Ken Jennings and all the, that's what he was promoting. Oh, okay. 
that quote, what, your stuff is at 4.30. Yes, I do have the over-the-shoulder event at, at uh, 4.30 also. Okay, just, just shilling for you two. <laughs> so, this was fun. Yes, I did. I, and hello and hello to the Twitch stream. Uh, I'm, I, I'm very much in, enjoying this. This is new to me, Twitch, and uh, I watch Adam pretty much every morning when he's on for a few minutes, get a little free lesson. <laughs> and they're saying hi back to you. Oh, to, to Mouse. He's saying, oh my God, that is Lou Gammerman. And someone in my stream is, oh my God, that is Lou Gammerman. Yes, that is the famous Lou Gammerman. Um, that you all know and love from all of those nationals where and 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 the midnights and everything. I want to touch his bald head. Someone just said, "Okay, well, <laughs> I'll just leave that one alone." I guess. Um, um, well, Declare is going to run some diamonds, but I don't think it's going to work. I used to be able to cheat by seeing his cards in its reflection. <laughs> That's Greg Humphreys. So, he's a funny guy. So, Greg actually works for Twitch. He, he, um, and, and he is also a streamer. So, it's, it's very cool to, to have him on here. So, all right. So, now they're going to take their spades and this is going to be curtains. So I think um, at this time, I'm probably going to end my stream. I'm going to go do a little uh, bike ride probably before my uh, over-the-shoulder event, which I'm looking forward to at, at 4.30. So um, thank you, Linda. Thank you, everyone. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing you, seeing you soon. Thank you.